Good evening, Adam Curry coming to you from the Royal Albert Hall in London, England, as MTV presents the Ritz, the 1989 BPI Awards. Now, first of all, what are the BPI Awards? Well, BPI stands for British Phonographic Institute, and simplistically put, they're the equivalent of our American Grammys. Tonight, you'll see a whole host of stars, some names you might know for the past two decades, and some names you're probably not that familiar with, but I promise before the show's over tonight, you'll know who they are and what they're all about. But right now, let's join in the action. The ceremonies are just about to start. Well, the 1989 BPI Awards are well underway, and as you can expect, a show like this definitely brings out the big wigs and the big names in the record industry. And last year's show, of course, is no exception to the rule. There were some great performances, some major names in the music business, and some surprises as well. Let's take a look back at the 1988 BPI Awards. And I could have sworn that this was a black tie event. Just want you to know that all proceeds from the BPI Awards goes to charity. And right now I'm going to turn you over to the co-host for this evening. Former model turned songstress Samantha Fox and drummer, producer, and songwriter with Fleetwood Mac, Nick Fleetwood. Welcome back to the 1989 BPI Awards from the Royal Albert Hall in London, England, where many concerts have been held over the years, from classical to Clapton, even the annual Princess Trust Royal Rock Gala. In fact, Lady Di herself has strutted her stuff on many an occasion in this very building. The ceremonies are still in full swing, so let's go to the stage to join in. And still to come on MTV Presents the Brits, the 1989 BPI Awards, you'll see a performance by a hot new British band, Yaz. Also, some of the Rolling Stones will be stopping by, and you'll see the award for Best British Album when we continue. Albert Hall for the 1989 BPI Awards as this year MTV presents the Brits. Coming up next for you, we have the award for Best British Album, which will be presented to you by Carol Decker of Tipau and Mike Rutherford of Genesis and, of course, Mike of the Mechanics. Our next performance is by Yaz, not to be confused with Yazoo, which in America was Yaz, of course, featuring Alison Moyet, but uh, someone I would call almost the blonde Grace Jones. Yaz, or Yasmin, has been nominated for Best British Female and Best British Newcomer. Her first single went straight to number one, and this is her follow-up, Got to Share. This is Yaz. Well, lungs and legs, Yaz, with Got to Share. We have more performances on the way at the 1989 BPI Awards, including Def Leppard. Stay with us. Welcome back to MTV Presents the Brits, the 1989 BPI Awards. We're all set to take a look at the award for Best International Group. Now, usually in the past, as history has shown us, this category is dominated by either Irish or American groups. We'll find out as the nominees are on the way for you right now. This next band you're about to see just recently rocked America for the third time in a row, selling 9.2 million copies of their latest Hysteria album. Def Leppard, you can hear it down there, pour some sugar on me. Well, at this point, we're halfway through the show, but when we continue, you'll see The Who and the All-Star Jam, which includes Mark Knopfler and his friends, and believe me, he has many of them. Also, Tina Turner, the Moody Blues, and Dave Stewart and Annie Lennox of Eurythmics. Stay tuned. Adam Curry coming to you from the Royal Albert Hall in London, England. Now, in order for you to familiarize yourself with some of the artists who have made a big splash on the British music scene in the past year, and also to be able to know all about them by the time they hit the States, let's take a look back at the year 1988 in British music. Well, as you can tell, there have been a lot of hot new artists that emerged onto the scene in 1988, which will make this next category very interesting. It's the award for Best British Newcomer. It'll be presented by Rolling Stone's Bill Wyman and Ron Wood. Still to come on the show, we have Mark Knopfler and Randy Newman and their friends for the All-Star Jam, the Moody Blues, and also Tina Turner, who lives in England and is currently working on a brand new album with Dan Hartman. Stay tuned. <laughs> We're back with MTV Presents the Brits, the 1989 BPI Awards, which is coming to you from the Royal Albert Hall, building which has been featured in many movies, also in Hitchcock's The Man Who Knew Too Much, in both versions, mind you. More on the movie topic, let's take a look at the award for Best Soundtrack, coming up next. Our next performer tributes her main influence as Leonard Cohen. She's been nominated for Best British Single, Best British Newcomer, and Best British Female. The pronunciation of her name even gives a British a run for her name. It's Tanita Tikaram. She first made it big with Twist in My Sobriety, and this is her latest single. It's good tradition. Even though you might not immediately think of it, there is a very alive and thriving British video music industry. In fact, many American performers have their videos done by British production companies. And up next, we have an award that I personally have been looking forward to seeing this evening. It's the award for the best British video. Well, as you can tell, a lot of people have been looking forward to this night as we are honoring the best in British rock. And there's a lot more to come when MTV presents the Brits, the 1989 BPI Awards continues. Welcome back to the night in which we honor the best in British pop and rock music. Adam Curry coming to you from the Royal Albert Hall in London for the 1989 BPI Awards. Up next, the award for best British male. 
Let's take a look at the nominees. Phil Collins there, swiping the award for Best British Male. Now, for Best British Female, an American artist will be here to present the award, and, of course, the nominees. Tina Turner to bring that award. Still to come on the 1989 BPI Awards, a live performance from The Who and Martin Opler, along with his friends for the All-Star Jam. Stay with us. Welcome back to a jam-packed Royal Albert Hall in London, England for the 1989 BPI Awards. Now, each year there's a category for the Lifetime Achievement Award. In the past, Eric Clapton has been honored with this, Bob Geldof, The Police, and of course, The Beatles. Now, last year, 1988, The Who was honored. Let's take a look at some of their performance from last year's ceremonies. Well, if you think the show's been pretty good so far, I got news for you because the best is yet to come. Coming up shortly, we have Randy Newman, Mark Knopfler, and their friends with the All-Star Jam. Stay tuned for more of the 1989 BPI Awards. Well, we're kind of winding down the show here from the Royal Albert Hall in London, England, the 1989 BPI Awards, but we will go out with the bang, the moment that a lot of you have all been waiting for, the All-Star Jam, led by Mark Knopfler and Randy Newman. They and all of their friends are about to take the stage. It's Ritz 89 on stage, and that's it for the 1989 BPI Awards. I think you have to agree with me that all the stars were out and shining tonight. Hope you all enjoyed the show. I'm Adam Curry for MTV. Thank you very much. See you next year.